One last thing I would like to talk about this week is how to adjust how an image is displayed in MATLAB. As we saw in the last lecture, we can use IMShow to display an image. However, IMShow actually scales the number of gray levels depending on the data type of the image. So for an unsigned integer, IMShow will scale the image from zero to the maximum value of that integer. Just to give an example here, imagine that you have an 8-bit image. This will scale the color between 0 and 255, where 0 will be displayed in black, 255 will be displayed in white, and then you get a gradient of grays in between. Now for doubles, IMSHOW assumes that the image is scaled between 0 and 1. So the intensity could have any decimal number in between 0 and 1, but again 0 will be displayed as black, and 1 will be displayed as white. And finally, for logical images, which we'll see a lot of next week, there's only really two colors. False values will be displayed as black and true values will be displayed as white. Let me switch over to MATLAB and show you what I mean. First off, I'm going to load in this 16-bit image. Now this is actually an image that I captured on the microscope. I'm going to use the command i equals imread demo 16bit.tiff. This creates a new variable i that has a class of uint16. Right, now I'm going to use the function imshow to view this image. Let me just stop this. And I'm also going to use the function color bar, which displays this bar on the right of the image. And the color bar basically shows you which shade of gray is displayed for which pixel value. You can see here that the color bar is scaled between 0 and 65,535, which is 2 to the power of 16. Okay, so this image looks a little washed out right now, but that's okay. I'll explain why this is the case in a little bit. Now moving on to an 8-bit image, let us read in the image at3 underscore 1m4 underscore 01.tiff. Right, so this is the image that we used in the last video as an example for displaying. And you can see that this image here is an unsigned 8-bit integer since it has a class of un8. If I display this image now, you can see that MATLAB scales the color bar between 0 and 255, which is what we expect for an 8-bit image. Now let's see what happens if you convert this image to a double. You see here that the class is a double. Now if I display this image, I get something that's just all white. And if I look at the color bar here, you can see that MATLAB has scaled the color scale between 0 and 1. Now this image looks all white because we just changed the data type, but we did not change the values of the image. Since the original data was an unsigned 8-bit integer, all the values were much larger than 1, so MATLAB displays everything as white. And again, we'll look at how to fix this in a little bit. Finally, the last data type that you might encounter is a logical. We can read in another example image that is shipped with MATLAB. It's called blobs.png. So I read this image in and display using IM show and also display the color bar. You can see that basically there's really only two colors here. Zero or false is displayed as black and ones or trues are displayed as white. Okay, let me go back to the 16-bit image. Now, if you remember when I displayed it, you can see that this image looks a little bit washed out. It's hard to see the cells in this image. So what's going on? Well, let's take a look at what the maximum value of this image is. Right, and you can see here that the maximum value is only 19,476. But because this is an unsigned 16-bit image, MATLAB has scaled the colors between 0 and 65,535. So 19,000 is somewhere about here. You can see that basically all the grays that we're seeing is in this region. It doesn't look very striking. So to handle this problem, you can change the way the IM show displays an image by providing a second argument to IM show. And the second argument should be a two element vector. The first element is the low value, 
any pixels which have the low value or less will be displayed as black. The second element will be the high value, and any pixel that has this value or higher will be displayed as white. Okay, switching back to MATLAB. Let's try that. So I'm going to use I am show I. I'm going to set the low value to zero and the high value here to this 19,476. You can see that the image now looks a lot clearer. And again, if we display the color bar, you see that the scale has now changed between zero and 19,476. Now typing in the min or max value all the time can be a little bit tiring. So uh, as a shortcut, you can also use I am show I comma empty matrix. And with this syntax, I am show will automatically scale the displayed values to between the minimum and maximum value of the image. So let's go back to MATLAB and have a look and see what this looks like. So if I just type in I am show I comma empty matrix, see that that image looks very similar except that now the scale doesn't start from zero anymore. It starts from the minimum value of that image. Okay, so remember that you can change the way an image appears on your computer very easily, and you might need to do this when you're inspecting different images. Now, what if you want to save an image? Well, you can do so using the function I am right. This function takes in two arguments. The first argument is the matrix containing the image data. And the second argument is simply the file name that you want to save to. Now the extension that you choose for the file name here tells MATLAB what format you want to save the image in. So let's go ahead and save this 16-bit image here as new 16-bit.png. And now you can open this file in your file explorer as normal. And you can also use this file and attach it to presentations and publications. However, if you look a look at this image right now, you'll notice that the image still looks washed out. Also, what's going on here? Well, similar to I am show, I am right will scale the colors of the image depending on the data type of the image that you feed it. So actually, in this case, you now have to modify the actual image values to get the exported image to look better. Since the image data is simply stored as a matrix, we can modify the image values by using matrix arithmetic. All right, so the basic idea is that we want to rescale the image values so that the maximum values reach 65,535 or 2 to the power of 16. So armed with some math, we can take the image matrix and divide it by the maximum value of the image and multiply it by 65,535. But there's actually a small problem with this command. Can you figure out what it is? If you said that we have to convert the image into a double first, then you're right. Remember that an unsigned integer cannot have decimal places. So if we divide the image values by the maximum value, we will basically get values of only 0 and 1. OK, so before running this command, we first have to convert i into a double with the function double. And then we can do the division and multiplication. Now, once we're done with that, we have to convert the image back into an unsigned 16-bit integer. And we can do that with the function uint16. And now if I run the function I am right again, You can see that the image now looks a lot brighter. Now you have to be a little bit careful when you're adjusting image values like this. This kind of image manipulation is fine if you're making an image for display or print, but it's definitely not okay if you're going to be using this image for further analysis. You should never adjust the values of an image that you're going to use for analysis because you're basically manipulating the data at this point. Be very careful of this.